Right there, guys, so it is official. Paolo Dybala is a Manchester United player. Uh, I'm the Peaky Pundit, and uh, I'm going to be breaking the whole deal down for you uh, right here. So, look, before we go into the ins and outs of it, we know uh, that Romelu Lukaku was kind of uh, a main figure of this kind of deal. Uh, it was reported that he was going to be going to Inter Milan. Out of nowhere, Juve came in um, when Maurizio Sarri made it clear that Dybala was not in his plans uh, for his Juventus team. Uh, they came in for uh, a swap plus cash um, kind of deal for Lukaku and taking him away from United. Um, I did question whether this is an Oli Gunnar Solskjaer signing or whether it was an Ed Woodward signing. Uh, but look, Dybala is in the bag. He is a Manchester United player. Um, I want to go into his stats. So um, looking at his full appearances, 182 uh, appearances at Juventus, 78 goals and 30 assists. Um, last season, he only actually scored 10 goals, uh, 5 assists in 42 appearances. And previous to that, uh, as you can see from the graphics uh, on the screen, he was hitting very, very good numbers uh, in terms of goals returned uh, nights 26, 19 and 23 on over the three previous seasons. Now, people might question uh, why his goals tally dropped um, to almost or less than half um, than the previous season. I think um, the introduction of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo at Juve had an effect on this and we know Ronaldo would have gone there and kind of been the main man and I do think Dybala was playing a little bit of uh, second fiddle to Cristiano Ronaldo who now is the main man at Juventus uh, previous to this I think Dybala would have been uh, felt as and would have been one of the main men there but look, bringing him to United and what does that offer we know that Paul Pogba and Dybala linked up very very well in their time at Juventus um, you know playing together so we are all very keen to see them hopefully strike up a similar kind of relationship and hit the ground running. Uh, question marks have been uh, placed over Dybala and how he'll be able to adapt um, to the Premier League um, and you know obviously it's a, it's, a, it's a much higher tempo a lot more physical than the Italian League but um, I think a player of his quality will be able to adjust um, and look he does fit into that kind of age category um, you know for the vision Oli does have about you know putting together uh, a young uh, energetic team as well. Um, will he be suited to Oli's high kind of press? I think he will adapt into that kind of um, that kind of style of play relatively well he might uh, you know take obviously a little bit of a settling in period period um, Oli would have liked to have got the deal done I'm sure earlier on uh, in pre-season so he gave Dybala a bit of a chance um, to come in and get life get used to life as a Manchester United player but also uh, under his tactics but look one thing's for sure I think United um, are getting somebody who tactically um, is quite astute and I think technically as well he offers a lot more obviously than uh, Romelu Lukaku his, his, his style of play is obviously completely different to what Lukaku's was as well. Um, one thing I think why Oli probably was looking at getting Lukaku out the door wasn't uh, too um, you know fussed whether he left or not. Um, he just didn't suit the style of play. Um, Lukaku is meant to be. We haven't seen it all the time at United, but he's a big uh, striker who's meant to hold the play up well and, and you know win his headers and whatnot. But that's really not Oli's style of play. Oli is introducing young blood into this team. Um, we can see he likes the technically gifted players who can uh, kind of interchange in them attacking positions, whether they're playing on either wing, uh, playing as. That number nine or a fake number nine to so drop in off a little bit. And I think Dybala would definitely be able to offer um, versatility to Oli and his team to play anywhere in that front line. So whether it is as a number 10 uh, or a modern day fake number nine, if you like, um, or wide on the left, wide on the right, I think he can uh, offer a lot um, in terms of that. I expect him to play just in front of Paul Pogba and Scott McTominay. I think they will be the two holding players for United. Um, if we didn't sign Dybala, the question mark was why is Paul Pogba not playing? higher up the pitch um, but throughout pre-season we've seen Oli play him in with the holding midfield play so I think it will be uh, the two holding players and one of them players will be uh, Paul Pogba building up uh, kind of attacks from uh, deeper if you like on the pitch uh, with Dybala playing it just ahead of them um, I also think he can definitely play that role well as the link man between the midfield and attack. Um, and I think uh, what he will definitely bring, um, you know, to the team is that experience of playing at a good level. Obviously, playing uh, Argentinian national team and along alongside the likes of Messi and Co. Uh, so I think he has a lot to offer this United team. Uh, let's just get behind him and hope he settles in well. Um, and you know, is a success at Manchester United. Uh, but look, you heard it here first. Uh, Paulo Dybala is officially a Manchester United player. And give this video a big thumbs up uh, if you are happy.